What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another LG OLED video. This is my current picture settings that I'm using for all various formats for my LG 65 inch GX OLED TV. This is fine for CX as well and most likely last year's models also. This is, this is you know, strictly picture settings are subjective. I'm just giving you my settings, so feel free to use them. By all means, tweak them, use whatever you'd like. This is not the best settings. It's just what I'm using and I'm comfortable with in my dark basement cave, all right? So if you're in a living room, windows everywhere, they might not look as good for your situation, but darker controlled lighting envir environment, they might look good, all right? Without further ado, this is my SDR settings, okay? Now, before we begin, I wanna give a shout out to D Nice on AVS Forms. He posted his calibrated settings uh, for uh, SDR uh, picture setting in filmmaker mode. I'll post that here. Go ahead and pause, write them down, and try them if you'd like, okay? So those are SDR settings. So we'll go ahead and go into the picture settings here. So right now we're in filmmaker mode. Original aspect ratio, energy savings is off. Additional settings. That's it. Uh, OLED screensaver, of course, right now, uh, luminance is on high, screen shift, and then, you know, pixel refresher. All right, so back to the filmmaker mode settings. 60 OLED light, 85 contrast, brightness at 50, sharpness is zero. That's subjective too, guys. Sharpness, whatever looks good to you guys. Zero is untouched, unfiltered, unaltered. Uh, 50 color, tint zero. Advanced controls, off, off, auto, 2.2 gamma. Now white balance, this is gonna be all these uh, you know, in-depth settings so you can go over the, the D-Nice list and try them if you like. Warm two color temp. And peak brightness is off. And then we go down to picture options. Off, 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 on. And then true motion is off. Uh, but guys, if you see judder, if you see some uh, weird stuff going on, by all means, you can totally uh, get into here and do this uh, do this stuff. I haven't touched any of this. I'm not really susceptible to a lot of the judder and the, the flicker and stuff. Uh, I'm more of a cinematic kind of a guy, so I don't mind a little bit of a stutter. And uh, by all means, do not like soap opera effect when it gets to that level. But feel free to play around with that if you like. I'm just not into that stuff too much. Uh, otherwise, that is my SDR settings. So now let's move on to uh, HDR. All right, so we got some HDR action. Let's click on this bad boy. Good old Costa Rica. Amazing. All right, so HDR settings is as follows. Oh my God, it's amazing. Um, again, let's, yeah. Filmmaker mode, thank you. Now, HDR, remember, we want the peak contrast and peak brightness because HDR is recorded and is supposed to be seen in a brighter picture quality, right? So if you play in HDR and you're dimming down uh, the contrast and brightness, you might as well just watch H SDR because it doesn't really make an, uh, an impact. Now, having OLED light and contrast at 100 does not mean you're going to get burn-in. Burn-in comes from if you pause this and leave this right here for five hours at a time. But then again, you have the logo luminance, which is gonna dim this portion of the screen to help minimize that. But just by having 100 to 100 doesn't mean you're gonna get burning. No. You're gonna enjoy the picture quality to the fullest and just don't pause it and run CNN on this kind of uh, settings. Okay, so now, HDR, Dolby Vision, crank it up. Awesome, okay? 100 light, 100 contrast, 50, 
zero sharpness. You see a pattern here. Now we go to advanced controls. That's already 2.2. Now dynamic tone mapping is on. Interesting, right? Now between on and off, see, another debatable uh, option. For me in a dark room, off is plenty bright. Hold on a sec. On, off. <sighs> totally de debatable. Um, if you want the most natural picture, off is where I'd go. If you're in a brighter room and you want that peak highlight and peak brightness and, and peak pop in your HDR, go ahead and keep it on. But for me in a dark room basement, I don't need it to be on. And what I'm seeing back here in the sunset, a lot of white right there at the on. I go off, I see a little more detail in those background clouds. It might be dimmer, yes, but I'm getting more detail back there. You know, each stone. You guys tell me on to or off to good, right? I don't know guys, on or off, it doesn't matter to me. All right, white balance, warm too. Now this is the thing. Now D-Nice, he doesn't put all of his uh, number settings on HDR. The only thing he touches now is gonna be negative 12 on the blue. That's it. Everything else you leave alone. Peak brightness high. So I already have all this high stuff, high brightness and all that things. Picture options off. True motion off. Okay, so now let's check out some Dolby Vision. Now, what we got for Dolby Vision? You know what I love? Altered Carbon. Love this show. Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. And boom. Okay, so now Dolby Vision. My current settings run Cinema Home User. 100 light, 100 contrast. 50 brightness, zero sharpness. 50. Advanced controls. See, no dynamic tone mapping. Off, off, white balance. Same thing here, negative 12 for blue. Everything else is the same. No D nice settings, just that. Warm one. Warm two. Uh, apply to all inputs. Okay. Um, high peak, peak brightness is at high. And picture options, off, 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 off. Off, off, off. That's it for uh, Dolby, uh, Dolby Vision. See? Beautiful. Absolutely clear, clean, looking good. Fantastic. All right, PC input is my HDMI 2. That's my input for uh, all my consoles and my PC. Game setting, all the same stuff here. OLED lights at 80. Contrast, 85. Just like filmmaker mode. Um, 80 for light just because, you know, graphics, you know, games, video games, a little more, a little more light involved there. My sharpness is at five, 55 color, advanced controls off gamma two, two. And here I am using D nice's settings for game mode because it's a SDR, right? Not HDR, SDR. So same settings here. Okay. Uh, picture options, off, auto, true motion off, all the same stuff there. And that is it there. 
Okay, here are my HDR game settings. We're on HDR game. 100 light, contrast, 57 sharpness. I'm gonna bump that down to five. Uh, color 57, advanced controls, HGIG. You know my thoughts on HGIG. Uh, warm to negative 12. And picture controls, pretty much everything's off because it's a game. And that is it. Uh, that should be it, guys. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, if you like to give them a try, go ahead and give them a, give them a try, see, see what you think. Let me know below if they uh, improve your picture or if you enjoy them. Otherwise, I uh, love this TV. Now, I had a slight, a slight itch in the Nano 99 OLED. Uh, you know I mean? <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share. You have a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening. Stay home, stay safe. Uh, I went out uh, yesterday. Um, it was a long time coming. You know, to get out on the lake and have a nice restaurant meal. My goodness, it was wonderful. Check out my videos on that if you'd like. You guys have a great day. Home theater rules. This TV right here. Raph out. See ya.